everyone knows you shouldn't talk about politics on Thanksgiving, so instead, your Aunt Hilda makes comments like, Welcome to For These Are My Thoughts. This week, Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a wonderful holiday where you get off work simply to eat food you never have any other time during the year with family you barely see and occasionally can't tolerate. And it's those family members that I want to talk about today, the ones that you certainly love, but they're also the ones that say some pretty interesting things on Thanksgiving. Everyone knows you shouldn't talk about politics on Thanksgiving, so instead, your Aunt Hilda makes comments like, wow, you've lost a ton of weight. And as someone that has lost a fairly sizable amount of weight, a comment like this is a double-edged sword. It certainly is nice that people see all the hard work that you put in to be healthier and lose weight. It does feel good knowing that the hard work is paying off and people notice. But on the other hand, the problem with the phrase, wow, you've lost a ton of weight is the phrase, wow, right? Wow really makes a person think. The phrase, wow, really leaves a lot to the imagination. Like, are you saying, wow? because I was so incredibly fat before? Or are you saying, wow, because you didn't think I could eat vegetables? Or are you saying, wow, because you didn't think that I would actually follow through on going to the gym regularly? So instead of saying, wow, maybe rethink how you acknowledge someone's weight loss. Maybe say something a little less surprised and a little more proud. Relatives also say things like, your brother and sister are married, What's your problem? And my dad actually said this to my older brother, Brandon, a few years ago because my dad has zero chill. And I love it. But asking this question or derivatives like, so why don't you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend isn't the greatest thing to ask because some of us are late bloomers, dad. Some of us want to start a career, dad. And some of us haven't found the right person yet, dad. Not me, that, that's not me. I got married when I was 24, but you get the gist, you get the idea. Probably not the best thing to say on Thanksgiving. And along the same lines is the question of, so, when are you gonna have kids? Is it a bad question? Not necessarily. But is it the most sensitive? Also, not necessarily. Many people have struggled or do struggle with infertility and the trauma of miscarriage, so maybe, find a better way to ask if there's an extra bun in the oven this Thanksgiving. Or just mind your own freaking business, I guess. Family members also say things like, we should cheer for the Lions today. If you don't know what I mean by that, the Detroit Lions play on every single Thanksgiving. And as a Packer fan, right? As a Packer fan, people say this? Are you kidding me? No, you should not root for the Lions. Football is great. It's a staple of American Thanksgiving. Why would you want to taint such a good thing by rooting for the lions? That's a path that only leads to sadness, anger, and despair, and nobody wants to feel those things on Thanksgiving. The only thing worse than saying, hey, maybe we should root for the lions, is to be told, we don't watch football on Thanksgiving. I was told that once. I was told that by my in-laws. And I have grown accustomed to not watch football on Thanksgiving, but I do miss it. But what do you think? Make sure that you comment the worst thing someone has either said to you or could possibly say on Thanksgiving in the comment section below. If you agree, if you laughed, maybe you find yourself a little bit relaxed. Subscribe, give us a like, make sure you turn notifications on, and make sure that you head over to the community tab where we post polls and questions and more to interact and laugh even more. Again, on the community tab, some people saw a post on the community tab and posted a response to the question of the worst thing to say on Thanksgiving, and it was featured in this episode. They got credit for writing this episode. So make sure, again, that you head over to the community tab, check out everything we're doing, share this with a friend. We hope that you have a very safe and happy Thanksgiving, and until next time, these are my thoughts, and I'll see you soon.